uncle used to love me, but she died. My uncle used to love me, but she died. Chicken ain't chicken till it's looking good fried. Keep on the sunny side. My uncle used to love me, but she died. Oh, hello. I'm Cynic Placebo, and thanks for joining me for Descent Free Space, The Great War. So well, many people may not recognize the song that I started with. Uh, that was Delta Roger Miller. I almost guarantee you know one song he did. A song that everybody knows from him is Robin Hood. Robin Hood and Little John run through the forest, laughing back and forth what the other have to say. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. I know that I should be like setting up my ship with different weapons each time, but I just don't enjoy that part of it. And so I just want to like tank through and and play. I don't want to have to like select the perfect layout. I want them to just select it for me. In order to I like the ability to select it. I just don't want to exercise that ability myself. Alpha and beta wing. Get nice and close. Whoa! I'll stop again. Someone's reprogrammed the sentries. Oh, dang! Okay, I thought it was because I'd run into it. Come Cosium, why not? Whoa, blast radius, that's not good. Ooh, equalize those shields. Nice. I'll stop. Ensign Sulu, take us out. Yes. Your orders are coming through now. Oh my. We haven't dealt with the old hostiles. Tell them to wait their turn. I wish I had the Battlestar Galactica jackrabbit move where I could just, like, stop, flip my nose around, point the other way, and shoot at people while still, like, letting my momentum carry me backwards. It's a good move. Suit up and report to your wing stations for briefings immediately. No virtual r, &R this time, huh? The Wanted to spend some time on the holodeck. Operations in the Deneb system. They have all fighters in the area around the Shakti are damaged and in need of repair. This makes them easy targets. All right. One of our objectives in this mission is to put this repair station out. So kick everybody while they're down. Got One it. One of the fighters being repaired. Let's do all fighters. Disable my target. Roger, disabling your target. All right. Where's the Shakti at? What? I said disable, not what the hell? Come on. Gosh. Okay, so let's try this. Instead, all fighters destroy the Shakti. Arjuna One has been captured. Alright. Terran command has deduced that the Shivans will be attempting a multiple prong The minnow? The intrepid and the minnow will be in charge. And Antares. The three hour tour. The three hour tour. While the Galate and the back smaller secondary. Comment down below if you're more of a ginger or a Marianne sort of person. The Shivans already control the Vega Deneb. Marianne, all the way. So our defense will have to be at the Deneb. All right. So. We have sneak mission. That a Shivan demon I'm a spy. Destroyer, the Eva, will be passing through this area. If it does, it is imperative that you scan it. Remember that your fighter is so spy hard. Will behave unpredictably. Be careful. See if you can get into the Lucifer's docking bay. What? You want me to get into their docking bay? Oh, I don't want to go in there. Is it this hole right here? How was I supposed to get into the docking bay? Get back here, let me kill you. When we conquered and colonized in galaxies where we had no place, the destruction and the anguish and the loss were the clarion call of our doom. And so the destroyers came. Really? To us. 
Given the size of space, I imagine we could colonize without causing too much problem to other life forms, but... This is what Admiral do I know? Shima. I'll be Ooh, that sounds very Star Wars. I feel like I'm in an ad at. And I know that's a uh, debate in and of itself. Many people say AT, -AT but uh, I don't know. I think it was that they had some published material that said that it was to be pronounced at at, so I've had to uh, alter the way that I say things. Yeah, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Which way did he go? Which way did he go, George? Nope. I need Death Blossom from Enemy the last Starfighter. Yeah, I'm trying to deal with a bogey on my nose. Let's match this guy's speed. Get a little closer, close the distance. I can close the distance. Alright, that was a mistake. I should not have tried to rearm in the middle of battle. Alright. Mistakes were made. I hate having to restart. But, thus is life. There's gotta be more to life than restart this mission a whole bunch of times. Alright. Just wasting time I'm trying to hit you. It's the same thing that happened last time. I wasted all my time on you when, like, other things are attacking the hope. I don't know if that's the plan or what, but. If it is, you're a very smart AI. It's a good thing you weren't connected to the internet back in the day. Would have been like, war games all over. Alright, since you're the only one left, I'm gonna come and try to kill you, Dragon or Durga One. Durga One, that sounds like uh, Team America again. Durga Durgistan! Several key scientists were unable to evacuate the installation. They and their research will be sorely missed. <laughs> and their research? Sure sounds like you cared about those nameless, faceless scientists that you're claiming existed. Well, if you told me which escape pods were prioritized because they had smarty pants as in them, I would have tried to protect those ones more than the other ones. We have now lost vital ground to the Shivans in the Antari system and Sirius. The number of systems between the Shivans and Earth are... Why so serious? We were able to save the beta Ooh, look at that jump drive. Fancy, fancy. has tried to give a fighter the ability to do inter-system jumps. After it's your standard V8 interstellar jump drive. Has finally been able to and have our forces confined to nine systems that form the heart of Terran space. Nine However, systems, in what used huh? to be the Sudan space at Altair, it's our nice a acronym like has apparently my very elegant a mother just Terran command something information in these records <laughs> to be of great importance. Us nine pizzas? I don't know. What was the S supposed to be in that? Just sold us nine pizzas? That doesn't make any sense. Served us, maybe? It's funny, it always took me more memory power to remember the uh, mnemonic device than it took to just remember the planets in their order. During their trip, do they learn Spanish and Italian conversationally? Donde esta el barco de espacio? Where is the spaceship? Donde está el barco de espacio? El barco de espacio está en la biblioteca. That's right, conversational Spanish jokes, you heard it. We'll hang out here by the Omega to protect them. Enemy wing just arrived. I know Omega usually has like biblical connotations, but I gotta be honest, the first thing I think of when I think of Omega is Charlton Heston in Omega Man. Alright, well. Okay, everybody get this guy now. I'm just management, you know, just 
kind of coordinating, you know. Breaking to attack. Breaking to attack. I'll be there soon. I'm just docking in support. Don't worry, I can manage from here. Breaking to attack. What would you do without me telling you who to kill, huh? All right, let's get over there and attack. So far, this has done, done really well. I should have been using these call commands way sooner. It's way easier to have everybody shooting the same person. Going as fast as I can. You know, in space, it is curious why after I use my boost, I slow down so quickly. It's like, there's a lot of friction in this space. Yeah, this coordination stuff is way better. <laughs> Sad that it took me this long to realize that, but, you know. That's the way I am sometimes. I'm not the sharpest tool in the box. I'm more like the butter knife that you're able to use to, like, get anything open, you know? Like, like oh, I don't have a Phillips head screwdriver that I can find. But this butter knife is kind of pointy. I bet I could jam it in there and open that up. I mean, I would say that in my life, I've used butter bu knives more commonly as tools than to spread butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. The traffic jam like when you're already late. And no smoking the sign on the surface of this sun. Uh, but as always, I've been saying placebo. Thanks for playing with me. I'm enjoying playing Free Space, and I'm hoping that Frosty and Clipper are also enjoying it. Join us for our Pushing 40-Bit podcast, where we will talk about this game retrospectively. And if you want to, you can go back and you want, can watch the one we did on Crisis and the one we did on Darksiders. Also, we, as always, we encourage you guys to play these games with us. We'll announce in advance the games that we're going to play, and we hope that you guys join in playing with us. Uh, let us know what you think of the game before the podcast. Also, let us know if there's a game you really want us to play. Uh, we have massive backlogs. We probably already own it. So, until next time, play more games.